Hello, hello, beloveds, and happy new moon. I wanted to have a moment to tune in and turn on with you and share with you a little bit of insight of what this black new moon in Leo really means for us. What it truly means for us is an opportunity to step out of our fear selves and step into our courageous lion self. What that truly means is we're being given this opportunity to to really shine, to really share who and what we are. We're also seeing that this is now time more than ever that we need each other in community and in conversation. And so lots of that is going on. And so as we allow ourselves to really tap into this you know, vibration, into this energy, we have to allow ourselves time to access you know, what is it that we're asking for? What are we releasing? What are we, you know, um, what are we truly, really ready to receive? Because a lot of times we're asking for things and we're not ready to receive them. And so this new moon, which is a black new moon, because it's in a series of four, and this is the fourth one, and this hasn't happened since, it only happens, I think they said, every 33 months or so. And so that's why this is a black new moon, because it's the fourth one, and we rarely get new moons and sets of four in one season. And so this is, you know, it's a saturated new moon. So it's got a manifestation cycle of about six months. So what is it from six months? So let's say January that you are really ready to um, call forth in your life. And what is the work? What are the steps you're going to take in order to get there in the next six months? And so the seeds that you're planting now are in very fertile soil. And that's what this Leo new moon is all about and what it's really allowing us to see is where is our self-esteem where is our self-doubt and where can we lift and bolster and 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 um heal ourselves so we are able to better you know understand ourselves and therefore each other and you know the world and so we're being more and more activated to recognize that we are living on community we are living with community we are you know having a human experience not just a you know I'm this person experience and so we're really starting to see how when we come together we can make things change we've been living in these such separated lives and so individualistic that many of us don't even recognize you know the amount that we you know uh, that we were cut off from ourselves i know for myself even i had this sense of truly being cut off from myself and during this time of having to be in and reflective i've realized some new things about myself you know and i've heard this conversation over and over and so that's why i'm grateful to share with you this week i'll be participating in the high performance um, without burnout summit and so if you want to sign up for that free event that kicks off tomorrow I will be popping the link and all of the links where you can find all of my latest offerings including the um, anyone can tarot um, online class but um, yeah so this you know high high um, and performers without you know burnout is teaching us because we've all been in this burnout mode and we didn't even know it we're all going on empty you know and it's time that we allow ourselves to say wait a minute I need to slow down I need to pause you know more and more of us are recognizing the importance of a pause the importance of a prayer you know the importance of time to ponder instead of reacting more and more of us are becoming responsible and so that's what the um, you know, this new moon is teaching us too, is really about allowing us to say, this is who I am. I am done with this version, you know, this past version, and I'm really stepping into this place of power. And so again, that lion energy, we have to think regal, courageous, strong, fierce, soft, you know, and at the top of the game. And so we've got to be at the top of our game spiritually. And that's what these last six months of this 2020 year is all about is us getting spiritually strong why do you think there's so many people turning to spirituality their own individual and then you know being with like minds and like minds means and kindred spirits mean that you don't have to agree a hundred percent like you have to in church but you have common you know morals and values you have common 
you know, um, interests, you know, and your spiritual um, ideologies are similar. They don't have to be the same because all of us have our own idea of what we believe God is God is. And so recognizing that we all have this expression of, of God, goddess, and spirit that's individualistic, that's why spirituality plays such a huge, you know, key in, you know, our development as spiritual beings. And so in saying that, I also wanted to share with you, I was recently uh, mentioned in The Walrus, which is a huge Canadian magazine, and I'll also be popping that link in here too for you to read about how tarot is a tool and how there are, you know, people who are um, making money off of fake spirituality. So many people are, oh, I, I went to this class, I did this, and now I'm a, you know, this and this guru. But, you know, I've been doing these, you know, I've been on this path for a long time and I've seen people come and, and people go. And someone actually just sent me a comment from one of my videos from like 2010 on YouTube. And she's like, wow, to see your transformation from this time to this time. And she said, it's really transformational. And I said, you know. It's interesting when I look back at those videos and see where I was and in pain and and you know my story where was I when I look at the background you know where was I in the world you know and so you know when I saw that image and I was like wow I'm so not that woman anymore I can let her be back there I don't have to bring her forward and so that's what this teaching time is too because we've got six planets in, in, in retrograde and so um, I forgot where I was going with that. Anyway, you know, use this time to harness in your energy and to, you know, create a ritual for yourself. Clean something out, you know, declutter, uh, set a new goal for yourself, set some intentions for yourself, uh, do a spiritual bath, cleanse your house energetically, uh, take a walk, soak your feet. These are all things, you know, do a ritual, candles, tarot cards. Oh, I was talking to you about the article in the walrus. And so I was mentioned in this um, article in the walrus about how tarot is such a powerful tool. And so um, back to then what I was saying, so doing a ritual and things like that. And so if you know that tarot is something that you want to know more about and how it could support you in your individual practice of connecting to spirit and God, my online course, Anyone Can Tarot, is available. It is um, lifetime access. And starting next week, I will be doing four live master classes in our private Facebook group. And so if you have taken, if you are already registered in the class, you get these four master classes. And if you join the class now, you will get these four master classes as a bonus. And so sign up will be coming up very, very soon. I'll be dropping that in a little bit later. And so, you know, um, more than anything, this new moon is teaching us that we are the captains of our ship. And so it's time for us to set new sails, to set new, you know, we're not the same. You know, like I said, I looked at this video from 2000, the end of 2010, and we're not the same, you know. And on Saturday, I'm going to celebrate my five years of, of not drinking alcohol. I'm not the same. And so allow that those old versions to stay in the past and now let's plant some new seeds and so i'm going to go get into the dirt so i'm actually going to do some planting i always like to plant new seeds and um you know change up the dirt a little bit in my little herbal garden and the new moon so that is what i'm doing before it starts pouring outside and so i'm just knowing that you are creating a divine ritual you've gotten some insight and inspiration from here if you want to join me I've got some great things coming up so I'll be popping the link where you can find everything from my tap bio right below here in the comments so you can see everything and sign up for everything including don't forget the high performance without burnout that is so huge for everybody right now so sign up for that free summit it is um, 
I think it's about five days long and it's filled with insight and inspiration to keep you from getting burnt out as well as if you are interested in diving deeper into your tarot practice. Anyone can tarot. It's got some free live master classes coming up. And so, so glad you got to catch me live too. But guess what? I'm wrapping up now. So please watch the replay, beloved. So I am sending you so much love and light. And until next time, beloved. Namaste, peace and blessings, and happy new moon intention setting.